when you have to use your common sense you should know between what characters the conversation is taking place knowing that is very important using your common sense the most important even in your examination you have to complete the conversation complete the conversation will make a lot of sense hello hi namaste and welcome to vidyashram the temple of excellence i am nanda kishore faculty of english in vidyashram mysore in my previous session i had spoken about one of the language functions expressing sympathy in today's session i am going to talk about seeking permission let's start with today's session so when do we seek permission or when do we ask permission you help here is a situation remember this you help an old woman cross the road but after the good deed is done the old woman instead of thanking you remember this i always tell you you cannot add ing for thank and love but still these mistakes are rectified these mistakes are done repeatedly done in your workbook and textbook thanking you so instead of thanking you she chides you chides you she scolds you she says i didn't want to cross the road horrible experience what do you think can be done now let us list a few polite expressions that you can use to seek her permission to take her back so you happen to help an old lady thinking that she wanted to cross the road but she scolds you back she blasts you saying that do you think i wanted to cross the road i didn't so at that point of time what do you do yaro oba vayasagiruvanta vruddege road anna cross madadakke help martira yen anta ankondu maybe aa vayasagiruva vruddege ajjige maybe road cross madadakke kashta aagtirabodu hagagi nan help madidini anta but help madadmele aa ajji baitara nimge nan ninge bandu help madu anta kelidna nanage road cross madbekitta so you are embarrassed so how well do you take permission what are the expressions you are going to use so polite expressions you can see i thought you wanted to cross the road right i thought you wanted to cross the road i might have done a wrong thing i might have had a chance to correct it you can use it i might have helped you cross the road and i might help you go back to the place i might help you go back to the place would it be or would be all right if i help you help you go back can i just help you to go back to the place so you can just be polite just because you have gone wrong and she blasts at you that doesn't mean you are going to raise your tone towards that old lady you can be very polite youngsters need to develop this attitude next polite expressions to refuse permission when somebody comes and asks a favor a help so how politely do you reject their help right kantesh can i borrow your camera this evening anjana says i am afraid i can't give you because i need it this evening i am afraid i am sorry i can't i am afraid don't take these words literally the literal meaning is i am afraid nanage bhaya aagtide no it means in the other word the other meaning of it i am afraid i am sorry i don't think i can give you the meaning of this word or this sentence is i am sorry i can't give you so the, there are certain polite expressions like 
these for refusing permission. That's not a very good idea. So you are being very polite. Let's imagine somebody comes and gives you an idea. Yaro apur bandhu nimge idea kordta re. Ena on maad veko. Let us assume on the business na start maad veko. And you are thinking to invest 10 lakh rupees. 10 lakh rupees. It's a huge amount. So somebody comes and gives you an idea. They say that's not a very good idea. Because investing 10 lakh rupees at once is a risky move. Adru badlu ena adru on maadu. Instead of using these words, if they come and call you, Dadnan Magne, Budil Vaninge, you fool, you don't have so much of common sense, that looks very harsh. So instead of that, I don't think it's a very good idea. That's not a very good idea. Be polite. We're talking about polite expressions here, not being very rude. No, please don't. Somebody comes and tells again, no, please don't invest so much of money. Why do you want to take risk? It is not an easy money. I would rather you didn't. I wish you don't invest it so much. Don't use it. I'm sorry, that's not possible. So you are taking permission or you are asking for a favor from somebody to help you out. So they tell, I'm sorry, that's not possible. You know, like to make money or to invest money all at once, it's not a good idea. Next conversation, Manu, Renu, polite expressions. We're talking about polite expressions. Manu, Renu, I lost my mobile. Mind if I use yours? So somebody has lost mobile and is politely asking, mind if I use yours? Renu, no, not at all. No is not saying no, rejecting the offer or rejecting to help somebody. In a sense, no, not at all. Because it is mind if I use it. Or mind if I use yours. Another bejar idya. Na ninnu mobile na use madadre. Ava kani veil tira. No, nangi ne bejar idla. Not at all. You can use it. So Renu is very polite here. He or she says, of course you can use it. Manu, can I keep it for few hours? Can I use your mobile for a few hours? And Renu says, oh sure, no problem at all. I understand your problem. So here is a conversation. It's between Peter, who is the secretary of students union and the principal. The conversation is going on between two people here. Peter, good morning, sir. Principal, good morning. Were you able to contact the speaker of today's function? Try to observe the conversation. Peter, yes, sir. Mr. Ravi has agreed to come and speak at the function. Would it be possible to send our college vehicle to pick him up, sir? So Peter is asking, yes, I have met Mr. Ravi, who happens to become the today's function speaker, the main speaker, and uh, is requesting the principal. Would it be possible? Is taking permission, seeking permission. Would it be possible? Or can you please send our college vehicle to pick up him, pick him up? Or do you mind sending the college vehicle to pick him up? Sir, he is asking permission. But remember, principal might not use the same words as Peter has used here. It depends on whom you are speaking to or from whom you are taking the permission. Principal has all the rights to say that just Book, can you just book a cab? Then book more bada. He will just use it. Here, Peter is using, you know, would it be possible? Is inquiring very politely. He is not commanding, he is politely asking. Principal, I'm afraid it is not possible. So he says, I don't think it is possible. You better hire a cab. We will pay the fare. Observe, you better hire a cab. But imagine. If the same words are replaced here or placed here, you better send our college vehicle to pick him up, sir. Then will it be seeking permission or taking permission? Will it seem polite? It won't. It looks too harsh. So that's when you have to use your common sense. You should know between what characters 
the conversation is taking place. Knowing that is very important. Using your common sense, the most important. But uh, if you observe here, the principle is, you know, ordering. He is just using his power and, and telling Peter, you better hire. It's better for both of us. So here is the language function. Try to observe the language function. Seeking permission, giving permission and refusing permission. Permission is like when you seek permission, when you refuse it or when you give permission to somebody. Now we are talking about seeking permission. Would it be alright if I seeking because you are asking. So you should be very polite. How do? Of course, yes. You can use your arrogance. You can use your power. But let it keep it in a formal way. Would it be alright if I borrow your pen, your pencil, your car, your vehicle, whatever it might be. May I have your permission please? May I have your permission to talk on the stage? May I have your permission to enter the classroom? I thought I might use your pen for a while. I thought I might use your bike for a while. So informal. Remember, we are talking about formal and informal. Informal, mind if I sit on this, think about it. I thought I might use it. Because you are being formal. Mind if I sit on this? Could we borrow? Could we borrow? Remember, informal and formal seems so similar. There is just a thin line drawn here. But one who practices more, one who uses the formal language in daily occurrences, they will know the difference between formal and informal. So, what about giving permission? Now, we spoke about seeking permission. We are talking about giving permission. Yes, permission is granted. Formal. We are pleased to permit you to go abroad. It's alright. It's alright. Please go ahead. It is informal. Of course, you can. Can I borrow your pen? Of course, you can. So do you mind if I enter the hall? Yes, permission is granted. Do I have the permission to enter the classroom? Yes, permission is gra granted. Formal. So what, what about refusing permission? We know that seek permission, granting permission, but there are instances, there are circumstances where you have to refuse it. So, no, please don't. Do I have the permission to enter the classroom? No, please don't enter. You always come late. You are fired. I would rather you didn't. I would rather you didn't do that. I would rather you didn't do this. I am sorry, that's not possible. I am sorry is nothing but you are refusing. It's not you are sorry. It's not you have done a mistake and you are apologizing. So you should know the context. As I tell you, the context here plays a key role. I am sorry, I cannot give you. I am sorry is not being apologetic. Now, you are not apologizing here. So, informal, I am afraid I can't. Right? Sorry, that's not possible. I would like to, but I can't. Do you mind giving me your vehicle? I would like to give you, but I can't. You know, I need it for myself. So, here is activity. The student and the principal. The conversation is between student and the principal. Kindly know the spelling of principal. Most of the students, they tend to make mistake while writing letter. Principal, P R I N C I P L E is principal rules and regulations. Principal is the head of the institution. Student, sir, can I leave the college early today? We are talking about conversation and within the bracket, they have given refuses permission. So being very polite. You cannot say, directly say no. One word will not suffice. It will not give you a mark. I am afraid I can't let you go. I am afraid I can't give you permission. Or I am afraid I can't permit you.
I always tell you, I'm using the simplest words here. You can develop, you can improve your answers. Student, it's an emergency, sir. He is again requesting, he's pleading. So he grants permission. In that case, you can go. If it is an emergency, in that case, you can go. Or in that case, I will have to permit you. I have to permit you. Keep it simple. Next one, activity two. Ajay, there is a blank and he asks Arti permission to use her vehicle to go to an art exhibition. So you have to ask permission. Would you mind or can I borrow your car? Can I take your vehicle? Would you mind giving your vehicle vehicle please? Would you mind giving your vehicle please? You can always request very politely. So I don't think I can give you my vehicle because I need to go to the dentist. Even Arti needs her vehicle. So there is a blank here. So how well do you build a conversation? You need a vehicle. Would you mind giving? Okay, twice here. Giving me your vehicle, please giving me your vehicle, please. Right? So you have to respond when she rejects. That's okay, no issues, no problem. I'll, I will take other modes of transportation or I would call up my friend or I would cancel my plan or no problem, I can book a cab, it's also fine. I will book a cab. I have to go to the dentist. So at that case, you need to complete the conversation. You cannot just be mumb. Silent okay. Next time You will come and ask me a favor. Now, there is a blank. And even in your examination, you have to complete the conversation. Complete the conversation will make a lot of sense. Just because they have asked you. For four marks and there are only three blanks that doesn't mean you're going to fill in only three you have to complete it that is your common sense you have to use it now activity three there is third activity and it says rearrange the following dialogue between henry and his class teacher to make a meaningful conversation and rewrite it in the space provided if you go to your workbook Ali space kotidare and this dialogues, this dialogues, it's in the block. On the block Ali haki kotidare, but we have just put it here so that we can number it. I'm going to number it. I'm not going to rewrite it, but in your workbook, take up this activity and rewrite it. So tummana dialogues ideally, according to this statement, one do instruction kotidare, according to this instruction. E on the dialogues and you arrange Madaveko. Once you arrange it, it should be meaningful. So just read it. There are around uh, seven dialogues here. Conversation. Nivu e conversation and sequential orderly it should make meaning. It should make sense. So first thing we got to know it is between Henry and class teacher. Illi Henry and class teacher and Takotila, Yaru Yen and Matar Titan and Takotila, but you should assume this conversation is spoken by Henry or by principal. So, first thing, it is Henry who will wish good morning to the principal. Good morning, sir. So, according to this, it is one. So, principal has to respond for the greetings here. Good morning. Good morning. Is anything the matter? Second. So, Enaru, Vishayidya. 
ರೈಟ್ ಸರ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅರ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಎಸ್ ಯು ಮೇ ವನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಅಟ್ ಟೂ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ನೌ ಸರ್ ಮೇ ಐ ಲೀವ್ ದ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಟು ಡೇ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಿಯೇಟ್ ಪೇಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಏನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಯುನೋ ಯುರೋ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರಿಂಗ್ ಅವನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಸರ್ ನನಗೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಕಾಲೇಜಿಂದ ಬೇಗ ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದಾ ನಾನು ಇಂಟರ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಿಯೇಟ್ ಪೇಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗಿ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಯು ಮೇ ಕೆನ್ ಐ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಮೇ ಐ ಲೀವ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪರ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಹಿ ಗ್ರಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಯು ಮೇ ವನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ ಎಟ್ ಟೂ ಇನ್ ದ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ನೂನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಟೂ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ನೂನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ನಾ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಆರ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಯಾ ಗುಡ್ ಲಕ್ ಗುಡ್ ಲಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಇಸ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಂಬರ್ಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ರೀರೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ರೀಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೆನ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಸರ್ ಮೇ ಐ ಲೀವ್ ದ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಟು ಡೇ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಪೇಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಯು ಮೇ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಎಟ್ ಟು ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಸರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಲಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವನ್ ಅವರ್ ಯು ಯೂಸ್ you use your dialogues you frame your dialogues but it should make sense when you reread it it is my request to all the students and all the viewers when you develop a conversation don't think it is complete when is the conversation complete when you complete it and reread it from the first conversation till the last conversation so if it makes sense only then the conversation is complete remember the point so that's it for today's session i am going to meet you in my next session in my next session i am going to talk about introduction which is very important until then keep practicing have a good day